I'm getting tired of your bullshit I'm tired of your voice I'm getting tired of the way you Leave me hanging with no choice If you would ask me long ago Back when you seduced me Yeah, I felt like a domino But I knew Hello guys and warm welcome back to Linda's Home and Style. And even before I get into today's video, I just want to say thank you for the new subscribers and uh, thank you for the guys or the ladies who just keep it locked here. I'm really grateful for you guys and uh, let's keep on growing together. So in today's video, we have a couple of things that we're going to do. But first, we have to steam clean our fridge because we have uh, a restock of uh, green vegetables that we want to like clean and also stock back into the fridge. Yeah, just uh, to replenish what was uh, finished before. Yeah, so this is the machine that I usually use to clean the fridge when I don't feel like cleaning. Like, I think I'm in my lazy girl era. Yeah, so this is a steam mop and it's... Like it's a steam mop, like the whole of it is a steam mop, but you can uh, detach it and have the steamer aside. So that is the one that I'm using to clean the fridge. And then since it uses only water, it's uh, toxic free and uh, it does a really nice job of just blasting away the sticky messes that are uh, usually uh, get in the fridge. Maybe milk spills or food spills. Yeah or juice spills you know they tend to be like sugary and stuff and sticky so this machine here just does a very nice job of just blasting away those that and then it's toxic free again so you just uh, steam your fridge and then you use a kitamba or a rug just to wipe it down and then you're good to go as simple as that we were through So guys, this is what I mean exactly when I say I'm in my lazy girl era. You can see the way this machine is making life easy for me. Yeah, I don't have to struggle with soap and uh, water. Nikufinya to the canob and the steam cleans the fridge. And then it really does a perfect job, especially of even removing like oil on the surface or on the outside of the fridge. Like, uh, you know, we tend to touch the fridge like uh, with a lot of oil, maybe when you're cooking or things like that. So this machine like uh, it makes sure like uh, it removes even all the oil that uh, uh is on the surface of the fridge then here i had uh, like uh, disassembled it kidogo so that i can clean call like uh, the inside inside parts because uh, it had like uh, some uh, discolored liquid ukondania so i had to remove it so that i can just clean it visually before now returning everything back in the fridge Yet I felt like a domino When you showed up here He said, baby I've been dying to see you All the stuff we were through I've been busy hanging with my boys for you to look stunning I forgot how fine you are But I didn't forget to give you a call I was just busy so guys that is how i easily clean up my fridge without using any harsh detergents or chemicals and then on the side of the freezer i didn't touch it today because what i was going to use most was the side of the fridge so guys i had gone to the market before at uh, kangemi 
and uh, if you're going to kangemi to buy your vegetables please 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 make sure unaenda kwa soko ndani don't buy on the roadside you will get like a, a very big uh, price difference ukiendoko ndani and you'll get to save a lot so yeah that are or these are the maragues or the beans that i got and uh, i was so surprised that we have a lot of variety like in beans yeah and these are very beautiful beans to the eyesight and most of them come from tanzania i must say so yeah i didn't get the names like uh, yeah quite but uh, i know where i'll be going to buy beans from now onwards onwards and uh, this is just my way of packing them up <laughs> so guys again the prices of these beans vary but most of them a kg goes for to 20 yeah so i ended up buying like 4 kgs and i know that those are uh, 4 kgs will push us for like the whole month yeah, but uh, since they are not like yellow beans zote, ndakuwa napika moja moja, tunamaliza, we consume, then I cook the rest. So these are the green groceries and again, waiyaki way all the way. Yeah, kangemi and uh, I have told you guys, <laughs> actually what happened is, after I bought this stuff on the road, like I've been buying on the road, uh, I was asking like where can I get cereal and uh, cereals and uh, I was directed like, uh, enda hivi, enda hivi, endo konyume you'll get like uh, market and that is how i discovered like if you're going to buy your vegetables please end up on Dani, you'll really really save a lot because i've learned if kondani manze was like man nyanya enye nili buy huku nje at uh i think 10 bob uko mbili zilikuwa zinaenda for 10 shillings you see and uh, the sizes were also like uh, very different huko ndani unapata nyanya ni kubwa like vitungu ni kubwa and uh, even they look better like in terms of quality and in freshness they look better so i learned my lesson and uh, next time i'll just be going danny yeah although i cry myself to sleep although i know you're bad for me i have to lay my hands on this bag you have so guys of late i'm finding out that uh I'm buying this amount of groceries like twice in a month. Sijui if uh, the qualities have gone down or the pricing has gone up. But uh, there's something wrong. Because uh, Kitambo will just buy like very little groceries and they will take us through the month. Yeah, you can see I even didn't buy fruits on this day. Yeah, but uh, you can share like uh, we just exchange notes. We know where to save as uh, homemakers. Because sometimes you find that you're spending so much on groceries, apart from cereals. Cereals, I think uh, for those beans, they can serve me throughout the month. But on these green groceries, my God, I'm having to like buy them twice, of which Aponyuma Kitambo, I wouldn't be doing that. And then on this day, Izo Waruni Lipata, they were not the best. Alafu peer prices, Zawaru sizes may spike, spikes may ju. And if you know me again, you know like uh, Kienyeji Mbogas are uh, my go-to when it comes to green vegetables. So here I had Kunde, I had uh, Kanzira, I had Managu, I had Sageti and Terere. Hizo haziko sangi in my list of groceries Warundio hizo, they were quite pricey and uh, they were not even like a, a good quality. So now that we have finished Nasuriza groceries, Nas fridge uh, cleaning and restock, 
we go to homemade pizza and again pizza is something that i really love making because i find it uh so flexible like you can use whatever method to make your pizza so for me today i made kienyeji pizza <laughs> you'll just see in the video and what you need is uh basically cheese uh which is like make like uh, the basics of bread so you need some sugar some salt some oil uh unga yeast of course very important water and for my pizza dough i usually add oregano and basil just kidogo yeah because uh, if you're going to italy just go all the way yeah yeah so that is why i usually just add a little bit of uh, oregano and basil in my dough to be honest i don't think about you to be honest i got better things to do to be honest, I don't care that we're over Been fine since you told me you don't love me anymore To be honest, I like sleeping alone Yeah, I'm totally okay on my own I don't even need your so guys the machine of the day was uh the ninja food processor and it comes with this car attachment and also a jug but for my butters i usually love using this car small attachment it can also mince and uh, chop your skuma or slice your skuma so after you've made your dough you want it to rise so just make sure you cover it with oil all through and then you put a damp cloth on it and just place it in a warm area so that the dough can rise probably 30 minutes to one hour arms around me i don't need you to tell me it's gonna be all right my love you think i'm lying to myself but the truth so guys after your dough has risen you now want to beat it down a bit and then just uh, divide it in two two uh different uh portions yeah because i was making i usually make like two uh pizzas at home when i'm making pizza yeah so i usually like uh, separate the dough yeah and that is what i have done and uh, now i just spread it and uh beat it down before i roll it like uh into a round shape and then that uh capiza board there it just uh giving me direction on uh the size of the pizza that i want and also i usually say like uh, i usually love my pizza to be fat like the bread to be a little bit big because uh, of my kids yeah so if uh, you're making let's say pizza for your babies you want the bread to be a little bit thicker so that they can really enjoy the pizza and then for the pizza toppings i had made them earlier yeah off camera so it was just a stick with uh, the pizza ingredients like uh, nyanya, onion powder, garlic powder, some pizza spice, yeah, and uh, tomato sauce just to get it to be a little bit sweet. So you can see me placing it on top and then I'll just top it with some cheese and you're good to go. So this is my way of making Kenyaji pizza, like the Kenyan pizza, very easy, very fast and uh, the taste is there. Yeah, because uh, just make sure you're meat is cooked properly and it's soft and then the spices or the ingredients vizuri so that it really gives it that nice cut taste So guys this is how you want your pizza to come out of the oven looking yeah the cheese is just melted enough it's sticky it's looking nice it's stretchy yeah this is how i love my pizza i think i also love my pizza with a little bit of extra cheese on it yeah so this is the final look and uh, we just divided it into four portions because uh, we had uh, like two pieces of uh, 
pizza so yeah and uh, it's really thick enough and i really really enjoyed this pizza but uh, cheese is usually so expensive so i'll uh, diversify a way of making my own cheese at home so here we are now making our bread and for bread i usually love using my bread maker because i've told you guys i'm in my lazy girl era na saki kitu ya kunichokesha na kuni stress so yeah this is a panasonic bread maker again i got it long long ago from amdiot i think i don't use it enough yeah but uh, of late i'm just uh, like hyping myself telling myself uh, i'm gonna use it more often because it comes with a recipe book that you can just uh, use to make you bread to make you cakes to make jam to make even croissants yeah so i think croissant is the next thing i'm going to make and i'm going to use it because i've told you guys mimi staki kuchoka so first of all what you need to do is just to measure out your ingredients according to the measurements in the book apa uki blanda kidogo you're going to spoil the bread I don't mind you posting pictures I could watch those photos ten times I swear I feel nothing at all You think I'm lying to myself But the truth is I don't need you Cause I'm one in a million That means I'll find So guys, this is my favorite bread to make. I think even in other videos, you can see like uh, I really love making this uh, spiced bread. And uh, it's just normal bread, but uh, what makes it spiced is uh, the cinnamon and the, the mixed spiced herbs. So basically that is what you just add differently from a normal bread. And also you put a lot of butter as opposed to the normal bread and then guys if you're making bread the most important ingredient for you to add is salt if you don't add salt to your bread i'm telling you you'll not be able to eat it it's rather you put a lot of salt than zero salt like at all yeah so salt is usually very very important to your bread among apart from yeast basically salt is usually very very important so after placing in all your ingredients in that ka, ka basket you just place it in the bread maker and then hapo ju you add your raisins for this uh bread maker it's automatic so it will calculate the time for it to drop the raisins inside the bread yeah Honest, I don't miss you. here is our bread and this bread is something that i really really enjoy eating leave alone making it because um honestly i don't make it much this is the machine that makes it i love you guys we are now coming to the end of the video and i'm just saying thank you for you being here and just being a part of this channel i'm really grateful and may god bless you